Okay, how's it guys? Um, I'm on my glassing spot right now and glassing across this gulch right here and there's already a bunch of deer one mouflon, I see one mouflon you right across there could be more but those guys are bad news they have keen eyesight and they can see you from long ways so the wind's doing funky right now it's swirling so hopefully it will settle down when the thermal start it starts to kick in but we'll see i'm just gonna glass there's you halfway up on the wall of the gulch and there's a few bucks up on top and a group of does all the way to the right so i may want to loop around to the right and try and go make a play on those does or the box but we'll see what kind of opportunity I have all right guys already made me 120 yards away <sighs> well guys that's my second blown stock this afternoon there were a bunch of deers on the face of this gulch right here 120 yards away I got to maybe 80 yards to the closest though and the wind swirl as you guys can see it's blowing it blew directly to them so it's hunting I may call it quits and walk back to the truck and see what get if there's anything in the way 
going back. So walking back to the truck about a couple of hundred yards from the road, I actually saw these tree does spook out of this shallow gulch and ran up on the opposite side. And I noticed there was racks sticking out. So I looked real good and it was a it was a buck. I wasn't really sure how big he was, but for some reason he was looking up towards where the does ran and I don't know why he did not follow them. So right here I got to set up my camera and film my stock and he was still standing there. At this point right here in the stock, the buck was still standing there and I was hoping that he wouldn't follow the does that ran up the hill and knowing that he can blow at any time, I had to be aggressive on my stock and now if you take notice, it's completely still, there's no wind and as I reached my shooting spot, the wind started to pick up and was slightly blowing towards him. His vitals were covered with some Kiavi branches and all I could see was the back of his neck and the back of his head so I had to move slightly to the right and get my distance right before I let out the shot and by the time the wind picked up it was too late for him. I don't really show that much emotions after the shot, but this harvest right here will probably go down as my best shot ever on a deer. What's up guys? I forgot to press record on my Tacticam, but I stoned that buck 51 yards. I was right behind that bush right there. And he is right there. I stoned him right in the head. Let's go up to him. Oh, his horn looked kind of funky from where I was. Looked like he gave one extra beam, but I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, almost slipped right there.
Look at that, guys. Stoned him. I don't know if that arrow looked familiar to you guys, but that was a recovered arrow put back in my quiver. Here's a better look at him. He's got nice mass. Oh, tall and narrow. No more 30, but she go. Nice buck. I stoned him right there. I, I never had to dispatch him. He just expired not too long ago. That's a mozzie MX3 over there that I found with that arrow. Uh, not a nice buck. Nice chocolate horn. Man, I was so excited I, I couldn't even press the record button on my Tacticam. But all in all, it's a good hunt. There was a bunch of Dora that spooked out and this guy was brave enough to stick around and I was behind that that bush right there, not much to hide but 51 yard shot from behind that and he was standing right over there so I had to shoot through this thing right here I was hoping I wouldn't hit it but lucky enough I got him in the head so he, he just dropped right there all right guys yeah, how's it guys thank you for sticking around I hope you guys enjoyed that video well this is him this is the buck in that video and even though I missed that four point buck on my first stock I'm happy with this I'm happy with my result that day but this is the guy he's super massive from the base and he carries his mass all the way up to the tips and he's also blading you guys can see that real good he's blading on both ends of the main beams but his eye guards he busted this when he fell after the shot and man I, I'm happy with him and I want to show you guys where the broadhead came in. It actually went inside the braid cavity and my um, taxidermy took the blades apart and took it off piece by piece and we're gonna leave it outside for display purposes. It actually went through the skull. But yeah, I'm super happy with him and hoping to get something better next year but for now i'm gonna enjoy this and it will replace that guy i'll be swapping him with that guy right there all right guys thank you for watching